More than 80 years after it was first published, a school reader intended for the children of Ukrainian immigrants to Canada is being republished as a fundraising effort to aid the people of Ukraine. The little book is making a big impact. CTV's Joe Makashan explains. It starts with the ABCs in Cyrillic, then short sentences and stories. Think of it as Dick and Jane in Ukrainian. My mother used to teach in a one-room schoolhouse near Edmonton, Alberta. So it was um, a way for Ukrainian-Canadian children to learn the language. In the 1930s and 40s, as Ukrainian pioneers settled in communities across the prairies, the little book was a schoolroom staple, a way for children of immigrants to connect to the language. Now publisher Lorreen Sheba is using the old book to build a new link to Ukraine. This is a way that I can contribute by creating a, a, a special humanitarian edition of the same book, this time with English translation. Her goal to raise $10,000 to help displaced families in Ukraine, she did that before the first new edition was even printed. By the end of April, at least 4,000 copies will be delivered to bookstores, and there's an audio version with music and narration by Sheba's cousin in Ukraine from the hard-hit city of Odessa. He recorded his voice onto the phone and the music also that he did and sent it by WhatsApp. And I received it and, and stitched it in with my own um, narration. The translation, sometimes a challenge because many of the written stories are 80 to 90 years old. Magda Stroyenska is a linguist who volunteered to help translate the little book. I'm very proud. I'm very happy because I think this is something that that stays and that's something that reconnects generations. In Canada, where the Ukrainian diaspora is the third largest in the world, the little book is popular again, a celebration of the beauty and language of Ukraine, cherished as Canadians help provide charity in war. Jill Makashan, CTV News, Winnipeg. That's it for